Hey everybody, the Reese Wirral here, and welcome to Hand of Fate, which I know for a fact I'm going to end up calling Hands of Fate accidentally, which may get annoying to some people, but if, if it happens, it happens, I'm sorry. This game is fucking, oh my god, it, it's hard to explain what it is. It's like an action RPG, roguelike, card based RPG game. It's so good. It is really well put together. Uh huh. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Oh, I do. Your stake is wagered. Here we go. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. Yeah, this this game is really really interesting. <laughs> It has been some time since you last sat at the table. I haven't sat at the table yet. Again. Okay. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. I did reset my progress, so hopefully this worked. But no, the way this game works essentially is you have cards, and the way the game plays is it's basically. I'm trying to not use the same words too much. It plays out like one of the old adventure books you could get. You know, where you'd like, you'd read it and it says, you come to, I don't know, you're on a mountain top. You see something at the bottom of the mountain. I'm using examples from this game. Uh, do you go and get it? And then turn to page blah, if you went to get it, and then uh, turn to page whatever, if you decided to ignore it. Those kinds of books. People that are like my age or older will know what I'm on about. If you're of the younger generation you may not because I don't think those kinds of adventure books are still a thing although if they are I may have to look into getting some because those things are the shit because it it works wonders on your imagination because you're imagining these scenarios it's really cool it's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons in a sense like the actual board game it's really cool anyway time. look around Jack of Dust. I'm sure you know you can add and remove cards from your deck. Well, I'm doing the tutorial, yet. Yeah. Familiarize yourself first. Yeah, this is the tutorial, Here so it's the fine. First member of my court, the Jack of Dust. The bandit Twelve leader. All must fall before you may challenge me. Okay. I mean, it makes it very, very obvious that he's the final obstacle. Anyway, Jack of Dust. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandit encountered. Or bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Okay. But I absolutely love this. When he's like getting the deck ready. I don't know. There's just something about it that's really cool. Just the animation. It's amazing. Whoosh. Let the cards fall where they may. We begin. And the reason the game is roguelike is because the way the cards are formed is different every time you play, which is fucking amazing. And the way the stuff works, health, it'll be explained. Food is consumed whenever you move to a new card. Gold is used to buy shit. Duh. Basically, you can use you can lose health from failing on certain events, but you'll see as the game progresses. Oh yeah, we're doing the tutorial, so this is very e easy. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. Okay. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? I can ask for longer life, supplies, or gold. I will go with... Supplies. Yeah. The spread will sustain you for many days. The dealer draws you two food gain cards. Sweet. But yeah, the game the game essentially plays sure just like this. And it is fan fucking tastic. It's not all card based, you do go into like combat phases, which is they're really cool. You'll see as the game progresses, it's just so good. <laughs> the greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Bye! Merith, I think your name was. Mr. Lionel! I was ah. A fan of illusion or pretense. Whilst enjoying your evening meal 
at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. <laughs> now, I can ask him what he needs, ignore him, which doesn't give you anything, I don't believe. You can give him 20 gold, if you had 20. I only have 10, so I can't. I will give him the bread of my plate. Because I think that just gets rid of one thing of food. Correct. Maybe not. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. There we go, I lost one food card. It's fine. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Nice. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? And I get to draw a shield card, which is again entirely random. Now I get to reflect uh, projectiles. And I can also counter, I believe. Yeah, I can. Cool. Awesome. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make awesome. Use of this skill if you wish to survive. I shall do. But one thing with this game is, I might do, a, like, as the game progresses, because I know it gets quite a lot harder, I may just do the same round over and over again, but I'll still show it off, because it's different every time, and it's really cool, and that's what I like about it. Alright, let's go. The Twisted Canyon. That's Here's... The moment. This is the example weapon. that I was using. To action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. Yeah, Twisted Canyon. I'm only going to read these the first time I come across them. Or if it's a new round, I guess, maybe. We'll see. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. I can either climb down to retrieve it, or leave it. I'm going to climb down and get it. And this is where we get, like, chances. There's three success cards and a fail card. Choose from these options. If I swear, I get if I get a fail one. No, oh, holy crap, that was lucky. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. Draw one weapon card. Oh no, you retrieved the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one weapon card. Nice, I got a new axe, which is better than my rusted axe. And every time you start a new round, everything you currently have, like, I'll have the axe in this uh, go-through. When I start the next card, or the next champion card, whatever it's called, I will start off with the rusty axe again. It's really cool how it works, and that's why I like the game so much. I got it for free. <laughs> with, um... Make you much more effective. I know. I got it with games with gold. So for having the Xbox Live Gold subscription and then recently I bought the Wild Cards DLC or add-on because it adds a few new things to the game and I really like the game so I figured fuck it why not. You have discovered the exit to this area. Take the stairs because there's nowhere we can go. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. I know. Oh, pardon this me. will not be as boring as I thought. Your journey is well begun. Right, in a shady grove, off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. General shops offer a range of items and healing, but at prices a little higher than usual. Usual. I'll pass it by because I have no gold. And I'm pretty, pretty much good for the tutorial of the game. I don't really need to buy weapons or food. Oh. An ambush. Hardly fair. Is it? A winding trail. Suddenly a tree, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Oh, we're against three of dust. I am not giving them all my gold. Weapons bristle from the trees around you, their wielders' faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. I'm going to attack the cowardly bandit for daring to threaten me. You shout a battle cry and weigh, and weighs your weapon. <laughs> Would be better if I could actually read. And raise your weapon. The battle begins. Yeah, this is another reason why I love the game so much, because it's got like it's got like the adventure book feeling from the initial gameplay of it. But then it's got like the combat sequences 
where you actively run around and fight. Granted, the fighting sequences don't last very long, they last about a minute, but even still, it's so cool, just how it works. And I can't remember how I, how I work. Oh, there we go. Opponents attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Okay. Left stick to move, X to attack, B to stun, A to dodge, and Y to counter. Doodly doodly doo. And that is how we counter. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. We are kicking ass. Damn. There we are. We're like some sort of badass. And we win. Oh. But I really like the combat sequences. They're incredibly basic, and the combat animations are pretty simple, but they're still really good. I get three gain cards. You search the bodies for loot. Oh, right. I got equipment, so I get to draw one. Danicles. During combat, press right bumper to throw knives in eight cardinal directions. That's awesome. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it ah. takes time to ready them. Okay. Okay. And I got another thing of equipment. Awesome. And it's another shield. Whoa. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. I already have a shield. It's the fucking same. <laughs> shield provides passive damage mitigation. Press Y to re button to reflect projectiles. Yeah, I already have that. Sure, I'll equip it. Is that what you're going to do? It's the same fucking shield. Don't judge me with those fucking wrinkly ass eyes. Dead Man's Gorge, oh dear. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Don't know if I've been here before. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Ah, oh, it's two of dust. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Yeah, I'll start skipping these now. Just because we know how it goes. We have artifacts. Can I use these? Holy shit! Boom! <laughs> that is amazing! And there we go. But I will admit the graphics for the game, when it's in combat, aren't the greatest. But I don't care for graphics. The gameplay for this game is so good. Like, I haven't played a game that's been this satisfying to play in a long time, especially for current gen, for Xbox One. I haven't played a game like this for ages, and it's such a great feeling. You recover what you can from the dead. Why do I get three game cards when there's two bodies? That doesn't add up, unless somebody was holding two things. I get more equipment. Ooh, a sword. That's crap. The most fundamental nope. symbol of might for an age. Okay, get some food. And 15 gold. Nice. It's a shame none of this carries over because I think we've come to the end of the tutorial. Yep. Figured. You have reached my first champion. Cool. Good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Okay. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Okay. I guess. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. This token. I repeat, you said token, not tokens. There's three of the fucking things there. I'm not. I don't, why am I complaining? I don't care. Three tokens is better than one token. Right, anyway, I've discovered Jack of Dust. Oh. Th there's nothing I can do. I just go into a fight with him, I guess. When it comes to combat encounters, though, I will. Um, skip most of them unless it's this one because I don't think I can skip it with it being a boss <laughs> damn oh wow we've got four of dust oh yeah I forgot I have some to enemy attacks Get out of the way stop oh my god I love it arrow uh, not arrows knives it's so fucking powerful yeah, when it's got like the red icon above it, you can't do anything. Oh! Shit. Having that knife throw thing is fucking amazing. 
Ah, oh, balls. Shit. I'm, quite, I'm glad, like, combat slows down. I did, not I did him. You were such a I didn't do him. I, I killed him. That was awesome. And I must admit, our character is probably the ugliest fucking person you could be. Down into the worms with him. I'd really have liked if for him in the, grave, the game did have character creation. That would be awesome. Cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. I know we've you got a long way to go. Eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Mm -hmm. If you fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. I will eventually. And you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. Yeah, these tokens contain As new cards, do, which also have. So do I. Balance must be retained. Yep. And as you get better at the game, the game also gets harder. Yeah, the the, the token the, the tokens don't just 